Well, hello again and welcome back to the channel. Now, we have people to stay for the weekend. Woo, exciting. Um, and uh, those of you who've followed for a while will know that from time to time, uh, we have a few people for dinner in my flower studio. So I've been rather inspired by some of the floristry I've been doing for other people. And I'm going to do some green flowers for my dinner. Um, I could do brightly coloured tulips and you know all that stuff, uh, but A, I've sold all my brightly coloured tulips, <laughs> uh, but B, I really love the restraint of working with one thing, so I'm going to go with, go with foliage, maybe a little bit of blossom, but it's going to have a tree feel, um, and uh, somebody said, I did a post last week about some flowers I was doing for a dinner at a client's house and they said they'd love to see what they look like in place and of course you know I'm working for private clients I don't arrive and go oh yes I'm just do you mind if I just finish off my, my YouTube clip in your dining room um because that wouldn't that wouldn't be right but so I thought I'd do something similar for my own event and then you'd see what it would look like on my table so uh, come along, enjoy the ride. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, press the bell icon, and we'll tell you when we've got more clips coming up. And if any of the tips and tricks I give you along the way are useful, uh, you can always buy me a coffee or better still, join my club. And the link for coffee buying and club membership is in the blurb to all my clips. Let's go. Right, first of all, I've got to get the layout right. <laughs> and we don't have a uh, long enough table. Our table. We have lots of tables in a long row. We don't have one great big long table. Um, but I'm going to put them together and then cover them up with tablecloths. And so while it won't look perfect, it'll do. <laughs> Not as grand as my lovely client, but, you know, we've got to make do and mend. Right. Ideally, the table should be laid before you put any floristry or any green stuff on it, because then you can see what space you've got. I see all over the place, oh, so often, it drives me insane, enormous amounts of floristry on tables, like tablescaping, but without the side plates or enough glasses or salts and peppers. The point of the exercise is the dinner. The last thing is the floristry. The point of the exercise is that everybody should have a lovely time and feast. The floristry is the finishing touch, not the base. <laughs> Bossy. Anyway, in my case, the table is not long enough. So I've added two tables, one at each end. And of course, that's going to not be flat. I haven't got a long, gigantic, long dining room table. So a good way to sort of smooth the edges a little bit is put a another layer before you put your fancy tablecloth on the top. Um, so I've got <laughs> great big white down tablecloths, which are going to go underneath as a base. So I've got a, um, a white down tablecloth underneath here, and the table is not the same shape, but it's sort of smoothed down the edges a little bit. It won't feel so hard when you sit there. Important to remember, though, to keep prep space. So this eventually will be the table where the food is served and the space up at the end will be uh, the bar. <laughs> yeah, welcome to my life. Um, but I'm not going to dress them yet until I've done the floristry. So I'm doing the table, main table first. Of course, it's all very well saying we need to lay the table before we do the flowers. But in my case, everything has to come, to, come out of the dishwasher and the dishwasher is still running. So um, I'm cooking while I wait. Right, that's laid enough. Um, I'm not putting out side plates because there isn't really room um, and we've got a uh, sort of buffet table, so that's okay. So now I'm gonna do some floristry. So I'm starting with two urns on plinths because I want height and a sort of tree feel but also they are in front of the stuff I want to hide, the rubbish that lives in here. This is my working space. 
So very simple mechanics, I put a bucket of water and, um, oh, tea cake. <laughs> I put a bucket of water and uh, some a wire frame on my urns and I'm gonna do a time lapse so you see what I do. Um, if you really are interested in big urn arrangements, I have a workshop, um, a demo that you can book a place on. But this I'm just gonna whip through because otherwise it makes my clip so long. And, but, and anyway, this is all about wow factor. So um, let's do it. Right, not finished, but you see how light they are. You couldn't do this, I think, if you were using floral foam, because it's inevitably, you're trying to cover up the foam all the time. And so just using vessels and water and a bit of wire really transforms. So they're not quite finished, uh, but I have to go and fetch my daughter. So this is it so far. So um, the child has been fetched. So I'm just going to finish off with a little bit of apple blossom because the fruit trees are in full flower and it seems crazy to waste it. bit of froth. There we are. Nice frothy, light, green, fresh. I think they'll do very nicely and you don't notice the mess behind them. This is why I do as much flourish at home and install when I get there as I can because you always make a terrible mess. <laughs> So because I've got these big arrangements up the end there, I've just got tiny little bowls of apple blossom dotted down the table. They're sweet, aren't they? Just dinky dinky. There's not very much room, and by the time I've lit all the candles and everything, enough, enough already. And then to finish it all off, I've done this little urn, small urn, my hand for scale. There. Little urn, very, very light, bit of foliage, a little bit of apple blossom. Simple, that's all we've got there. And then we're all done. I need to drill up into the middle of this candle so that it will sit on the candlestick, but I've got to get the drill. <laughs> and the lovely foliage arrangements are very charming. And, but we need to now get chairs. And I love the little, little things of apple blossom. And there is my flower studio transformed for a party. And yes, I know that candle needs sorting out. I've got to light the fire. But I do like the, these big urn arrangements best. They haven't taken a huge amount of material. It's very, very fresh, very, very light and pretty.